Hello, how you doing? This is Nemsky Houston coming to you by the way of YouTube. And truly, we know that God is a good God, and we know that God is God of all possibilities. You know, we are living in the time now that God is is trying to get His church back in order. God is trying to get His people back in order, trying to get His people back on track. You know, I have watched many videos here on YouTube, and I'm I'm beginning to discover that there are some there are, there are really some Christian believers who's trying to get back to Bible basics. But the question I need to today need to be asked is where did we as Christians get off track at? Where did we miss the mark? Where did we go in death in the ear when it comes to God? And why are we not being obedient to the things of God? And why are we not obeying his word. You know, I never thought in these last and evil days that the church will be going wild, that the church will be losing its mind. And I know a lot of times we spend so much time criticizing each other, judging each other, saying who's this and who's that, who's preaching and who's not preaching. Or then sometimes when we preach truth, People think we are crazy and they start speaking evil of the truth. But you know, Jesus Christ told us this was what's going to happen. People are going to say, Lo, Christ is here, Lo, Christ is there. But Jesus said, Believe it not. And the Bible tells us that many false prophets are gone out into the world. deceiving many but the question is today is we don't know who who is false and who's not false that's why the Bible had the nine gifts of the spirit to be in operation in the church that's why we need the discernment of the spirit we may be able to discern who is of God and who's not of God we're living in perilous times now that the church has undergone such attack Everybody want to believe what they want to believe. People want to receive what they want to receive. Nobody don't want to hear the truth. Nobody want to obey the Bible. Nobody want to obey the voice of God. It's more like, oh, I want to do it my way. I live it my way. I see it my way. Where if they can't see it my way, where I can't be part of the church. Where they preach too hard. Uh, where I, they, don't, they don't preach what I want to hear. Number one, we ain't supposed to be telling you what you want to hear. We ain't supposed to make your flesh feel good. We ain't supposed to be patting you in your sins. We ain't supposed to be patting you in your mess. We ain't got time to be patting you when you out there committing adultery. We ain't got time to be patting you when you out there fornicating. We ain't got no business patting you when you out there lying, cheating, and stealing. We ain't got time to be patting no mess in the house of God. And because of what's going on now, people have defiled the house of God by bringing in false teaching, false God, false idols, bringing in secularism. The things that God told us not to partake of, we are now partaking in. Things God told us not to do, we are doing. The teaching and doctrine God warned us about, we are now embracing it into the church. We are bringing it to mainstream Christianity. Now we are here teaching things that we know not to be teaching the people of God. Even the churches that's preaching the truth and telling the truth and hitting the whole car, we want to come against them. We want to speak evil of them. When these people are really trying to deliver our soul from the snare of the devil, trying to deliver us from falsehood. There are, there are false teachings going on out there, y'all. And we got to open our eyes up and smell the coffee and realize what is going on out there. The Bible warned us that in a lot of time, men are going to depart from the faith, giving heed to the juice of spirits and doctrines of devil. First Timothy 4 and 1 told us that, forbidden to marry and forbidden to abstain from meats which should be received with thanksgiving. And when he talks about those meats that's been forbidden, he talking about strong me. He talking about strong teaching, sound teaching, sound doctrine. 
when he's talking about forbidding the marriage, people don't no longer want to be married. Folks <coughs> rather commit fornication and commit adultery. Folks rather commit adultery on the law. They don't longer want to be married to God no more. They longer don't want to be married to the truth. They don't want to be married to what is right. So folks rather the folks rather be lied to than been told the truth to. I have kind of been off here a while because you know, because it's something. I mean, even some of the comments I receive is good, and some of them is pretty good. Some of them, you know, you have your reasons for saying what you're saying. But then again, I have this one that said I'm serving the wrong God. I said, well, I don't know that at all. So you know, each to their own. Church, when are we gonna wake up out of sleep? When are we going to quit preaching all these things that God have not told us to preach? When are we going to quit believing every little thing that come out? We're in a town now that so many people are raising up churches all over the world. There's so many churches on every corner, every block, church next door to each other. What do you think about that? People are going here, people are going there, people don't know what to believe, what to receive. People are confused, and we're building all these church buildings, building all these pews. We're bringing in all these big name choirs. We are here trying to trying to build large numbers, but nobody wanted to build the people. We want to build a big old building. We want to build a large membership, but we don't want to teach them what it takes to be part of the church. We don't want to teach them what it takes to make heaven. We don't want to teach them what it's going to take. To serve God, to live for God, and do what God is calling them to do. Because God is calling for holiness. He's calling for sanctification. He calling us to do what is right in His eyesight. I don't have to go through all different types of teaching here. Amen. This is self explanatory to everything. We need to start preaching the truth, telling the truth, so help us God. We need to quit preaching false teaching. We need to start. Oh my God. We need to stop now. Church, wake up out of your sleep. Satan has put most of us to sleep, causing us to be cold spiritually and to be dead spiritually, instead of being alive and well and be hot and on fire for God. But we are now living just like mortal man. When God told us, love, love not the world. They are the things that's in the world. God told us not to be partake of no man's sin. And the Bible, even in the, in the book of Revelation, what God talking about, thou suffers that woman called Jezebel to teach my servant and to commit him to commit fornication. There's a spirit of Jezebel that's running loose all through the church. See, we always think it's a woman. Sometimes man can be caught up in that very spirit. We got so many different types of teaching going on out there. It's, it's a crime shame. But question is, is all these teaching that you're hearing today that's lined up in the word of God? Is it coming from the word? Is it coming from heaven? But if these preachers are not teaching the word of God and teaching from the Bible, then where are they getting their information from? Now, we want to talk about false teaching. I'm going to tell you this straight like it is, and I know I'm going to catch fire for this one. But I see nowhere in the Bible where God called a woman to be a bishop. Can you find it anywhere in the scripture where it says that? I'm just going to have to preach the Bible. We've got to teach truth here. we got to teach the real truth here. We can't sit and compromise with these people. We can't be lied again. Tell the truth. And I don't really see nowhere in the Bible, really, where God was. And everybody called themselves an apostle, both men and women. Everybody want to be an apostle. Everybody want to be this. But have God called you into it? Have God ordained you to be an apostle? Have God called you to be a bishop? Amen. We got to go by guidelines of the Bible. We got to read scripture upon scripture. And I know the Bible said he gave some apostles, some prophets, some teachers.